Hello, people. Uh, this is Max with A1 Website Pro, and today we are going to learn all about fonts and changing our fonts in our WordPress content management system. So, <clears throat> like we have the, all these little font, these fonts here in our menu bar, but let's say that we wanted to use something different. Now we're going to use Google Fonts. Okay, that's going to uh, we're going to be able to choose from that. So what you want to do is just go to Google.com, just like that. And then type in Google Fonts. Okay. And then right here you'll see a whole list of different types of fonts. I'm going to show you how to navigate this. Um, so we have uh, 647 font families that are shown right now. But let's try to narrow this down. Maybe we want something in handwriting. So let's take off everything but handwriting and click OK. Now the default font here is Grumpy Wizards make Toxic Peru for Evil Queen and Jack. Okay, so <clears throat> let's say, well, I, I want to see how it's going to look in my Nick of Time blog. So maybe we'll type home in up here so we could just see how it looks. So we'll just click up here and we'll type capital H-O-M-E like that. And now we start seeing what it's going to look like in our menu here. Okay, so, <clears throat> so we come down. We find maybe the font that we want to use. Okay, maybe it's this one here, uh, Calligraffiti. Okay, now what's great about this is all these fonts are really easy to implement in your blog. The, the, the only thing that you need to do, <clears throat> now let me show you, go to your dashboard, and then back your dashboard under appearance, if you don't have this edit CSS, this is what we're going to be using. You want to install this plugin. So go to Add New and just type in Custom CSS, CSS just like that. And it's this one here, right here uh, by John Reagan. This one I've used this several times. Simple Custom CSS installed now. But I just made this uh, CSS a part of this theme because I created the theme. Okay. <clears throat> so anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the front end. Okay. And we're going to leave this open. I'm going to open it up in another tab up here. Okay. And I'm going to go down here and hover right over top on these menu items. And I'm in my Google Chrome browser. You could do this Firefox, Internet Explorer now for developer tools. But Chrome is, is kind of my favorite. And so now I'm hovered over this. Okay. And you can see over here where it says Font Family, Sorts, Mill, Gaudi. So what I want to do is see this little curly bracket up to this period here. I want to right click and copy that. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to just simply paste that little line of code right in there. Okay. Here I can change my font size, my font family. So you didn't have to know any coding really. All you had to know is how to get this little piece of code. Now the important part is this curly bracket and this curly bracket have to stay. Everything else here is is by line, and you can get rid of, you know, you can change the color. F F F is white. Here's the border bottom saying zero. So let's go back to the Google Fonts, and let me show you how we're going to use this. Okay, so do you see if we hover over here, it says Quick Use. Okay, so we'll click this little button that says Quick Use, and uh, this shows you how how much longer it's going to take for this to load on your page. Okay. So let me try to enlarge that a little bit. All right. Now, what you want to look for, since we're using CSS, now if we can put this in the header.php and use it that way, or we can use JavaScript by uh, pasting it in like this, but we're going to use this at import. Now, this is not the best way to do it. If you want to do it the best way, then you want to do it the, the standard way, or possibly the JavaScript way. But this will work and might slow your site down by a millifraction of a second. But this is the way that you'll be able to take care of things yourself. Okay, <clears throat> so let's go back here. And what you want to do is right here at the top, before this comment line, okay, we want to paste in that add import. So that we're using Google, uh, we're going to be using Google to help us display our fonts. Now there's one more thing that we need. It's this font family, this little line of code. Just highlight this whole thing right here. Click copy. All right. And these are the only two lines of code that we're going to need. And where it says font family here, what we're going to just paste that over just like that there. And maybe we want our font, instead of being 20 pixels, maybe we want to make it 25 pixels. 
Okay, and then simply select save style sheet just like that. And we're going to go back to our website and we're going to refresh this by doing a hard refresh and you'll notice that the font then changes. So, and now we can do anything that we want to with this in, in our CSS, okay, but the font can change over and over again. But uh, <clears throat> you'll notice that in your custom style right here, everything just, just go ahead and changes. So that's how you can change uh, different fonts. Now let's say that you wanted to make your uh, paragraph fonts. Maybe you wanted to make them a little bit different, okay? So we can, we can highlight over that, just the, the paragraph one, and we want to scroll down to where it says font family somewhere. That's what we're looking for, font family, okay? And so we keep scrolling down, scroll down over here. Okay, so here we go. Notice it says right here, body custom font enabled, open sans serif. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to highlight this right here. Okay, copy. We're going to come back over here. Paste that in there. And just for, um, just to make this quick, we're just going to copy this font family. Just imagine you went back to Google Fonts and bought a different one. But we're going to go ahead and paste that in there. Click Save Style Sheet. Okay. Go back to the nick of time once again and then refresh this page. Now you'll notice that it's all cursive. Now obviously you're going to have to increase this font size a little bit. And so the way that you would do something like that is do font size. Let's go 22 pixels uh, just like that there. And then just click save style sheet. Okay. And then we'll come back here and refresh it. And we can see that the font is enlarged just a little bit, but you, you can you can enlarge it as much as you want to. Uh, let's just go ahead and do something drastic here so I can show you. We'll do 32 pixels, save the style sheet, come back here, do a hard refresh. Let that reload, and you can see that the font is getting bigger. Okay, so this these these are ways that you could take take advantage of the CSS here and that import with Google Fonts. So I hope this has been an a, um, informative, informative tutorial for you. This is Max with A1 Website Pro. Don't hesitate to contact me if you need anything. Bye.